Suicide Squad won an Oscar. Oh my! Yeah, so that's the last time I'll ever be able to use that intro, which I'll be quite sad about. But basically, um, last night, uh, I tried to do a live reaction, and people just spoiled it for me, and I knew like every all the winners before I got to do the reaction, so I'm not going to do that anymore. So essentially what I'm going to do is do like a quick rundown, breakdown thing of the, uh, the Oscars. So first off, we have Best Supporting actor and best supporting actress Mahershala Ali and Viola Davis both really deserve it they deserve every ounce of that golden statue and I'm so incredibly happy because they gave some of the best performances of the year and my, that was my prediction that they would get it I was correct what I didn't get correct was Casey Affleck's win for Manchester by the Sea best actor now I preferred Casey Affleck in Manchester by the Sea to Denzel Washington in Fences but I just thought that with the amount of um, people who respect and the amount of people, amount of fans that Denzel Washington the, and his reputation, you know, in the Academy, he was going to get it. Uh, but, you know, it was, if he did win, it would have been his third Oscar and then Casey Affleck's, it, it would have been his first Oscar and he gave the best performance by a male actor of 2016 and I definitely think he deserves the award. Um, although Denzel was great, I do think Casey Affleck was better. I just put Casey Affleck as number two in my uh, predictions video simply because of what I thought the Academy would have done. But surprise, Casey Affleck won, which I am very happy about. Next up is Emma Stone, who I'm extremely happy about her winning. Her speech was great. All the speeches were great, although I have to say Casey Affleck's was pretty by the books. Was exactly what I expecting was exactly what I was expecting and yeah I, I thought that Mastoe's win was great she definitely deserves it and you know who else deserves it? Damien Chazelle for what La La Land because La La Land was my, still my favourite film of 2016 Whiplash my favourite film one of my favourite films of all time and I, I really do respect Damien Chazelle he is now the youngest director to have ever been to have ever won an Oscar and I love Jimmy Kimmel's joke about like um, if Damien Chazelle wins, he can go to any college he wants to or something like that. That was great. And um, one of my favourite parts about the Oscars actually was when Jimmy Kimmel got like a ton of these tourists and there was like that one Asian guy who didn't know where he was going and he got a selfie with Ryan Gosling, the lucky bastard. And so yeah, that was pretty good. Um, all the Matt Damon and Ben Affleck um, savages were pretty good. And so yeah, bringing me to Best Picture. So yeah, with Best Picture, they pretty much pulled the Steve Harvey. It was like the biggest mess up in Oscar history in my opinion. If you don't know what happened, I'll like quickly explain to you. So like the guy, like it was like Warren Beatty or something. He, he you know, he wrote the envelope. He was just reading it. I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah, La La Land. But it turns out that it was like for best actress, it was like Emma Stone for La La Land. And they gave him the wrong envelope and it was meant to be Moonlight and all the La La Land guys went up. And then Damien Chazelle was like on top of the world. And then like everyone was just so happy and Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. And then the, the, the one of the producers, I think it was like Jordan Horowitz, he saw like, you know, those guys in the backstage with like the, the earphone running around. He was like, something's wrong. Turns out it was a mistake. Moonlight won. Jimmy Kimmel had to come on. And yeah, so Moonlight won. And then they were like, okay, this award, this award goes to Moonlight. Barry Jenkins is like so happy. And I do think that, I do, I am happy that Moonlight won because although La La Land is my favourite film and I do enjoy it uh, personally more than Moonlight, I do feel that Moonlight definitely deserves a lot more recognition. La La Land is already going to be immortalised for like the amount of Oscar nominations it has, for the amount of Oscars, the amount of Golden Globes it has, but a film like Moonlight, a small film that is so powerful and so important in, in, in the world that we're living in right now with all the stuff that's going on I do feel that Moonlight definitely should have won I, I personally wanted Moonlight to win and so I'm very happy with that although I don't think any of the Oscar producers are happy with the um, the whatever you call that Steve Harvey thing so yeah guys anyway I, I'm, I'm going to keep this video short and quick so yeah thank you very much for watching this is the end of my Oscar nominations or my Oscar video season series thing and 
actually, now that it's the end, I'm actually going to take this time to thank everyone because I reached 50 subscribers recently. And, you know, that might sound like it doesn't mean much to you, but it does mean a lot to me. So I'm just going to thank everyone who has subscribed, who has watched this video, who has liked my videos from the very beginning, back when we had like four people in Flip Fanatics. So now it's just me. And, you know, whether you subscribed, you know, almost last year, six months ago or yesterday, I'd like to thank you all. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and after this I will be doing a series of reviews leading up to Dunkirk of Christopher Nolan's movies. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, thank you.